Coming forward for this track guide for Xanvor. We're going to run through a, a quick lap here, and then we'll go piece by piece, section by section, and break down some of the things we're seeing on the lap. So I'm going to leave a reset point right here. Then we're going to break it to 100 board. Just get the nose as far down as we can in second gear in the Elantra. Now break just before the end of this curve. Stay in third to the right. Second gear, get on the gas. High up on the banking. Not that far off from my best lap. Flat out all the way down this, just hugging the apexes where we can. There's lots of curbing and then right here, crest brake fourth gear keep the brakes down let the car kind of steer itself it really wants to in that corner you just have to encourage it brake right after the curbs climb this curb don't hit the sausage though come out here we're gonna break about here uh, it's kind of a feel thing but there's like a tower on the right that you can use to judge if you're looking for something then we're gonna come back over here break there a little late apex but not too late because you do have a lot of track out here to use and we're going to come down here. We're going to break just before the curbing, just after the 100 board. Get on the curbing. Come across. Cut over that. Get down into first. Get way down into that banking and then crawl out of it. And then break after the 50. Go down into third. Keep up the momentum. Flat out from here. Good exit. Onto the banking. And we're through. That's a lap of Zanvort. That's going to be uh, basically 44 seconds dead. So let's run through turn one and take a look at what I'm doing here. So we're going to set a, we're going to load our uh, reset. We're going to get past turn one and load our reset point here. And when we do that, now heading into turn one, I'm going to break right at the hundred board. We're going to get down into second gear, and we're going to really hug this inside banking. And we're going to come off of it out of the corner it's a pretty straightforward corner uh you just have to start kind of on the left side of the track so that you benefit from the banking rolling down into the turn uh, if you come in there with too much speed it's going to want to understeer watch this i'm going to induce some understeer here we're going to go down in a second and then we're just a little too fast and on exit look at that it's so bad it just the car will not turn but if we get it slowed down just a little bit more and make sure we get that nose in. The exit is a lot better. It's still kind of a bad angle. We'll run it one more time before we get to the good stuff. And it's really all about that entry and how much banking you use, trail braking to really get the car to sit. And there we go. Gonna send to the reset point because now we're heading into the banked corner here. This, this is a fun one. And you're gonna see, I'm taking an interesting racing line you're not too familiar with banked corners riding up the high side there letting it letting the car its weight slam itself down into that banking and keep the grip so let's see brake just before this curb and now we're going to try and stay the right side of the track and then we brake go down to second and we're going to hang out on this upper side of the track before we exit out now the point of acceleration here is important when we come through here, just going to kind of cruise in third gear and then brake second gear and right here you're on the gas. I know that seems early. I know that seems really early, but watch me do this in full speed. And you're going to see how quickly I get on the, the gas here. Brake right hand side of the track, third gear, brake second gear, gas. A little over, but I mean, look at how much the banking carried us. So we're going to go again, brake. And then stop, second gear, right before the white wall on the right ends, we're going to hit the gas, and look at that, it carries us straight over the curb. That, that white tire barrier on the, side, on the right side uh, is the best way to kind of figure out when you need to hit the gas, because you see I'm going to brake, and spot the end of the barrier, get on the gas. Right on the edge. So it's just a matter of what are you comfortable with and how far up the banking are you? Because the, the lower down the banking you are, the more it's going to throw you out. Check this out. If I go down and now I get on the gas, look at how much more it throws me towards that curb. 
if I'm a little bit more aggressive with it, uh, what it's going to do is it's just going to completely launch me out of this bowl. Yeah, look at this. I'm not, I'm babying it because it's just the angle that your car's on at that point. That's the way the banking works. So you really want to start at the top of the banking, roll your way around the top side, get on the gas. Look at that. That wasn't even an off track. That was a clean maneuver through that corner. So now we're going to come down the, I guess the back straight, or one of the two uh, middle straights, break right here at the crest. And we're just going to kind of keep the trail breaking. I mean, you do even have to trail, you do not have to trail break that much. The car really wants you to, uh, to let it steer itself through there. Um, at least in this Elantra setup that I'm using, uh, it's the 35 liter baseline available in the, the leagues, uh, setup channels. So, I mean, this is, this is, this is pretty, it's not too hard to get the car to do this. You just have to get the nose down in there right. I'm going to come, I'm going to run through this kind of slowly. So we cross the corner, we hit the brakes, you know, we're going to hit the brakes. We're going to right about there before that path appears. Uh, we're going to go down to fourth and we're not leaving fourth the whole time. We're really hanging out close to here um, because the track really helps us along. It's, it's slightly cambered and it just carries us through the corners. So I'm going to run through there one more time at full speed, brake, fourth gear, get off the brakes. And now I'm accelerating. I'm accelerating now, really pushing it through the corner. And look at that, taking all the curb. Uh, yeah, that's just a lot of fun. So now we'll go into the next corner here, brake force gear carry it through leave a marker and now I'm gonna break right at the end of this curving and make sure we don't clip that sausage but get as much of the curb next to it as you can and then we come all the way out here to make this curb or to make this turn and it's very easy to over slow yourself through this section uh, because it, I mean there's two ways you can over slow yourself first there's a lot of breathing room on these corners so when I roll this back, you're going to see get on the gas early before the apex because I have so much room to work with. Come out here, brake, and now look at all this space on corner exit. You don't want to use all of it. You'll lose time if you just go all the way out to the edge of the track, uh, you know, for no reason. But on the racing line, look at this. I'm going to let it carry me all the way out. Um, and that just keeps my momentum up down the straights. So one more time, braking right there. And that break point could be a little early for some people. You know, it's what I'm comfortable with. Um, break right there and then get down to second. I like to touch the curb and then accelerate off of it. Um, but again, it's really all about momentum through these corners. So any whatever feels most comfortable to you, whatever whatever's your, the best method you can use to maintain this momentum here, because like realistically, I, I'm staying in third. I do not want to downshift into second. I don't want to downshift into second. I don't want to downshift into first gear here. That's just too slow. I don't want to downshift into first gear here. That's too slow. So I, this one wants you to late apex it, but if you late apex it, you know, if you hit it too late, it's not going to help you out. So um, yeah, a couple things you can do to help yourself out there. And then coming out of this corner, we're going to break in between the 100 and the curb. And then we're going to come over that sausage curb loop through this section. And then we're done with that. So one more time, we're going to take it a little slow. I'm going to show you where the limit is here. So we break, we get on the curb, turn in. This is a legal move right there because I have kept at least one tire on the white line uh, at all times. And that's, that's what matters here. So if I take my tire off that white line and I bring my left tire a little bit further to the right, I'm just gonna cut completely over the curb. Still no slowdown, but it's very, very close. I mean, if I do this again and just go a little bit further to the right, still no slow down and this is probably because i'm going slow enough that my rear tires are staying there i go full speed and cut it still no slow down so this is a very generous curb i mean even i'm kind of learning the limits here because i thought it was tighter than this if i just completely cut it there's the slowdown uh, so i'm not sure what the exact delineator is i'm pretty sure that as long as you have a tire 
touching this white line, you're good. Uh, I'm sure the rules tab, that is what it says. But there is a slowdown there. So taking the corner normally, ignoring the slowdown. Let's go here, break in between the 100 and the curb. Come off the curb, roll through it. Look at that, no slowdown. Hug the inside here, it's all banked, so when you're comfortable, you just gun out of it. We'll go run through that a little bit faster now. Brake, second gear, turn in. Don't cut too much. Down into first. Gas it out. There's plenty of curb there. There's not a whole lot of understeer as long as you get the car slowed down enough. This corner is really uh, what I like to think of as like a bait corner. It wants you to take it faster than you should be taking it. And the slower you take it, uh, like every time you slow yourself down, you're going to be like, you're going to find yourself going faster. Um, paradoxically, it's just one of those corners. Um, so really just, just chill out and lay off and you might find yourself going a little faster through there. The last two corners, pretty straightforward. I mean, break just before the timing line, stay in third, gas it out, and then come down the straightaway for, uh, for one more lap. And we're just gonna run through that again. So I'm gonna go up to fourth for a moment, but then come back down to third, use the banking on entry to roll it through. Uh, and again, this is so momentum based, so important. Um, it's not about taking that corner quickly. It's about coming through the banked corner and all the way down the straightaway quickly. Uh, because I mean, that's about 15, 20 seconds of lap time right there determined by this one corner. Uh, so super important, but also it's not it's not that difficult. You keep it in third, you give it a light tap of the brakes. I mean, look at how how light my my brake work is here. Jab, third gear, coast, accelerate, and it's not bad. Like uh, look at that, I'm matching that best that I just did. I'll run it again. Stab, third gear, accelerate. Could it be a little bit more efficient? Could it be cleaner? Sure, but it's as simple as, it's a, it can be as simple as that, and you are, are on pace. Just a quick jab, and then up. Typically, right as I'm about to touch the curb, depending on my turn and angle. Uh, but yeah, that is a breakdown of Zanvort. Let's run one more lap here and call it a day. is a lap of Zanfort. 